Galactic masters of the new earth, rising up, shining out, the great shining ones, shining your light brightly into the night as way shores of heaven on earth, guiding the way for humanity to step through the portal, the gateway into the golden age of eternal bliss consciousness. Today we had another powerful day of higher dimensional activations. The Schumann Resonance, the last 48 hours, we had a very powerful white blast of light, very extended, many hours coming in. Today we had a powerful blast, 53 hertz. Quick update from Divine Sister of the Light, S.A. Smith. The Schumann Resonance continues to spike, bringing in upgrades for the collective. Two days we've been experiencing these Schumann spikes, bringing in the upgrades you need for your ascension journey. Ask and you shall receive. Things are moving faster now. Time, upgrades, life all moving fast. But if you pause for a moment and step inside of you, allow that stillness in. Feel the now moment. It will slow. It will almost feel as if you stepped out of time. For that is what you're doing when you connect into you. Time slows. You slow as you concentrate on your breath work. You connect into your I am presence and become more of you than you've ever been in the time you're in now. Doing this in these energies brings to you complete truth in your flow. You will feel it fully. You will feel you. Tap into you. Tap into the energies. Tap into unconditional love. You are so much more than you allow yourself to be. From a girl in the universe.com. I'd like to take a moment too to thank everyone that donated to our Harmonium Fund over the last several days. We received enough donations to be able to order our Harmonium to make beautiful music mantra, my goddess and I. So we ordered the Harmonium today. It will be coming from India. We also received enough to get a new mic to do higher quality work, recordings, music, many sacred sounds, chants, music for all of you. So we look forward to bringing our art in the form of music, sacred chants, mantras, songs, and then their future. So thank you everyone that donated to us and through our new pledges on Patreon and our continued supporters on Patreon. You can support our work and mission at egolovecondor.com. And one of the first songs we're contemplating to bring to the public through YouTube is Amazing Grace. So let us know in the comments below what you'd like to hear and also you can download for a dollar 44 my sacred condor song spirit made on primedisclosure.com and click on products if you'd like to hear her angelic voice the voice divine feminine magdalene energies receive the activations of the divine goddess now today is also day seven of navratri where Kali reaches gate 7 at Kran Chakra and the crown of the rainbow bridge. And this is to celebrate Goddess Kalratri Mahakali, the route to liberation and enlightenment. And also today, this afternoon, the sun transitioned from Aries into Taurus. So we had some of the most fiery energies through the night and into this morning. This was part of the final purging, releasing of the old 3D world, the old false matrix. Many felt like we were on fire, releasing energy through every pore of our skin on our sacred temple, our avatar, releasing all that no longer serves us. Now in the last 24 hours, we had many powerful activations through earthquakes on Pachamama, 116 M1.5 or greater, most powerful Today on the Ring of Fire in Indonesia, we had an amplitude 6, and this was Sinabang, Indonesia, at 2358 UTC, 0. 0.178, latitude 96.54, longitude, and this was right on the equator, the middle dantian of the tropics. 
the heart chakra of Pachamama. Earlier today, in Chile, South America, Sacred Andes Mountains, Kundalini of Gaia, San Antonio, Chile, 5.1, and then a 4.0 and 4.4, three Trinity activations in a row. Fukushima, Japan, 4.3, Alaska Peninsula, 3.5, Cobb, California, 4.0, Anchorage, Alaska, 3.2, Cascade, Idaho, 3.9, and the Sacred Portal in Iran again today. In the foothills of the Zagros Mountains, 4.3. And remember, Iran is the ancient Persian Empire. So we have this Persian synchronicities coming in. Also, Lindsay, Oklahoma, 3.5. We had an activation in the Sacred Portal. In Austria, 3.9, 12, Divine Goddess. Puerto Rico, 3.3 of Mastery. Divine Masculine Christos Mastery as we step into our full divinity. The Philippines 4.8 and then came the 6.0 in Indonesia. South of Sandwich Islands 4.9. Indonesia 4.8. West Chile Rise 5.0. Willows California 3.8. Puerto Rico 3.5. Peru South America Lima in the Andes Mountains 4.8. 12 of the Divine Goddess. The whole ring of fire totally lit up again today. This is the fire energies of the Divine Feminine Christ activating us, ascending us up through the sacred spiral, the sacred portals into our higher dimensional selves through this ascension process, this great awakening. And now we'll move on to the Sabian symbols right now. The moon is at 29 degrees, 15 minutes Cancer. The sun is at 0 degrees, 20 minutes Taurus. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 1 degrees Taurus, a clear mountain stream. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 0 degrees Cancer, a daughter of the American Revolution. From astrologyweekly.com And now my sacred condor pulls another card from the deck, Forest of Enchantment Tarot from Lunea Weatherstone. And the card she pulled for you today is card 11, the Huntsman. A mighty huntsman stands with his bow and arrow at the ready, his hunting horn at his belt. Close behind him are a doe and her fawn, closer than dare would normally approach a man. But the huntsman is not a mortal man. He is the embodiment of nature's justice. He defends the well-being of the forest and its creatures by protecting the vulnerable. The huntsman appears when something has upset the natural order of things. He can be called upon for help in a righteous and just cause, and he will tolerate neither deception nor deceit. What are your motives? Is your word to be trusted? He is assessing you, not condemning you. Yet, the law protects the innocent. Those who invoke the law must come from a place of righteousness and truth. Encountering the huntsman signifies that the balance of justice is in play and you must be careful to obey the laws of nature and of humanity. Listen to your conscience, as embodied by the huntsman, and do the right thing. Meaning at a glance, justice, integrity, and fair dealings, legal and ethical matters, truth and honor, giving and receiving respect. A closer look. The huntsman's horn is blown to call the wild hunt that rides through the forest on May Eve and All Hallows' Eve. It is also blown as a lament at the death of an innocent. This is page 37, 37 into the 73, Heaven on Earth. 18, 18 coming in of the 99 portal, the 9910 greed of the sky nation. Our sky beings, the most powerful being thunder being with us now. Today from Isis Channelings, Goddess Kalratri Mahakali, the route to liberation and enlightenment. Kundalini Rainbow Bridge of Durga, Sekhmet Kali reaches Gate 7 at the Crown Chakra. On the seventh day of Navratri, we honor the fiercest form of Ma Durga, born from her third eye to vanquish the demons, darkness of ignorance, a fierce form the dark goddess known as Kalratri. Kal and Tantra means both time and darkness, hence Kalratri, same energy associated with the destructive forces of Kali, Mahakali, 
Chamunda, Chandi, and Durga as the feminine keeper of time, dark goddess of the night, darkness, and she is associated with the crown chakra, Sahasrara chakra, the route to liberation from the never-ending loop of birth and death, and thus the pathway to moksha and ultimate enlightenment. Why is the fiercest and fear-inspiring aspect of the goddess Durga associated with the ultimate goal of liberation, enlightenment via the seventh gate crown chakra? The energy of Navratris is that of cleansing and purification, of karma, lower emotions and thoughts, the darkness that ignorance begets and the ego attachments, greed, glory, power, fame, etc., and other obstacles that keep us chained to the never-ending loop of birth and death. The goal of this cleansing and purification is the same as the goal of spirituality, which in itself is a continuous spiral of clearing and purification that is to unite with divine truth, divine source, godhead, goddesshead, in other words, enlightenment, ascension, moksha, that is released from the trap of continuous birth and death, it is extremely easy to get sidetracked on the spiritual journey to believe that attaining Siddhis, supernatural powers like clairvoyance, telepathy, traversing timelines and dimensions, visiting other star systems and communicating with our star brothers and sisters, etc., is the mark of an enlightened teacher, mentor, and our ultimate goal, or that Siddhis are our passport to abundance, material, financial, relationship, etc., no, these are the fringe benefits or byproducts of spiritual practices, but never ever the end goal or destination. Attaining Siddhis is the reward reaped on account of the hard work, diligence, devotion, perseverance, concentration, etc. in spiritual practices. It is extremely doable, actually, and many of us have attained many Siddhis in our past lives, which we are re able to reconnect with now to remember ancient wisdom, lifetimes, and traverse dimensions, star nations, etc., but it is not to be confused with reaching the pinnacle of the spiritual ascent. In fact, it can be quite the double-edged sword. In multiple sessions with clients, it has been shown to me that the highest karma is rewarded to those who misuse their CDs, supernatural powers for selfish, egotistical reasons, greed, power, control, etc. And yes, we all have been there. Before we get all judgmental about it, we have all had our fair share of the fall from grace. It is easy to be released from blocks, cords, chains of containment of evil intentions that others may have placed on us in any timeline but to be released from the karmic retribution of the misdeeds of our spiritual ego, lifetimes, yes, it can take lifetime upon lifetimes, and I've witnessed this firsthand in many of my client sessions. And that is why Sanatan Dharma, Hindu spiritual doctrine, emphasizes on being a karma yogi as one of the paths to achieve spiritual liberation, that is doing one's dharma, rightful action from a place of selflessness for the benefit of others, without being attached to the fruits of one's actions, motivated by outcomes of abundance, glory, fame, success, etc., to do one's rightful duty while being neutral to the outcome, success, or failure. And it is this very aspect to do, act in the highest way, for the greatest good, from a place of selflessness, versus self-serving way, that requires courage and fearlessness, the very attributes of the goddess Kalratri, Mahakali assists us with. She is the one who leads us by the hand when we enter the dark night of the soul, the purification and cleansing of all those attitudes and attributes that no longer serve, as they are self-serving. She is the taskmaster who makes us come face to face with our deepest, darkest shadows, however much we try to avoid it so that we may evolve into better and higher, into wholeness and liberation from the fear, the greatest illusion of all. She is the destroyer of all that we can no longer carry with us, of all obstacles and illusions. She is the one who destroys cycles of time when it is time for a new change, a new cycle to emerge, for new beginnings so as to be united with the ultimate spiritual goal. She is the darkness womb from which the new light is born, the new, stronger, braver, fearless you. She is the one and only Kalratri, the dark night, keeper of time. 
She is the one who brings push to shove. Yes, she strikes like lightning, tower moment when you need to step up and align with your highest destiny, your highest spiritual destination and goal. And yet courage and fearlessness is not always about roaring lions, brandishing swords, chest thumping. Sometimes it is the quiet voice at the end of the day that tells you it's okay, you've got this, try again tomorrow, take it one step at a time, one day at a time, I've got you, have faith and be brave. Yes, this too is Ma Kalratri, Mahakali. She can be as gentle, compassionate, and protective as she can be fierce, as magnanimous and generous as she is demanding. She bestows upon her devotees courage, fearlessness, and righteousness to assist them along the way she bestows upon them seeds of knowledge, power, and wealth so that they may expand their consciousness to gain access to the highway, gateway, chakra to meet with the divine light, enlightenment, ascension, moksha, at the crown chakra. Hence she is goddess of the crown chakra. Often Kali and Kalratri are used interchangeably, but the two deities are separate but share the same energy. Many are, will be going through rerouting tower moments now, as it is time to fulfill the reason for your incarnation at this point in time, as part of a greater plan that we are all here to fulfill, and light in grace, in joy, be the change you want to see. Sake Na from IsisChannelings.wordpress.com and an update from Divine Brostar of the Light Rick Jewers. We are supplying to the upper atmosphere of the planet an enhanced photonic light for a specific purpose at this time. All divine conduits and anchoring ones are requested to anchor this enhanced energy into the grid through self and instruct it with the command to emanate pulse outward from you at the ground level of the planet. Energize the 5D grid overlay and all energetic nodules and heightened energetic geographical areas of the planet as well. This enhanced photonic light is delivered to quell and eradicate a fear program operative by the remnants of the darkness they have begun to initiate in a desperate attempt at preventing the raising in planetary vibration that advances those good of heart. You may consider this as a clarion call for immediate action by the legions of light, all hands on deck, to make light work. Love and Light, Rick. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Sandra Walter, Unprecedented Light Levels, we are deep in a unique stargate opening which commenced last week. Plasma anomalies and out of nowhere geomagnetic storms had popped up on the linear charts and continue to complement this reality-shifting passage. Even science is noting these cosmic forces as unusual. This passage of brand new frequencies flowing through the stargates continues through April 25th. Some notes, the anxiety many of you are feeling is the tremendous expansion of crystalline light body these new harmonics bring. It is also a reality shifter, so the collective feels the impending changes, regardless of being awake or aware of it. Sensitive people may precog upcoming global revelations. Reminder, your heart center is a stargate. As we become one with the organic stargate systems, we become a conduit of these new energies. Be diligent with heart care, hydration, meditation, exercise, and meridian flows. Since geomagnetic activity flares and plasma influxes affect the physical, cardiovascular system and heart, plasma anomalies at the solar and galactic scale are reflections of this new light, codes, and organic stargate flows. These are literal reality-shifting, veil-lifting, quantum free-will revelations taking place. Have you noticed how intense the sun is right now? Crystalline structures can feel like carbonation or intense tingling in direct sunlight. These are very strong codes and literal radiation. Don't overdo exposure and don't hide from it either. Solar flashing is consistent, intensifying and permeating the lower constructs in a new way. As always, request the plants, minerals, crystal beds, animals, aquifers and elementals to express their ascended crystalline state. They release energies, plasma, and codes when we do this. It does shift the weather patterns, however that is inevitable. No stagnant or controlled patterns pay forward. 
Expect the next few weeks to shake many souls awake by way of revealing the cosmic shifts. All focus on amplifying your highest reality choice of unconditional love and ascension. The main focus in this gate opening is on freedom codes, revelation, and resurrection of the golden race DNA. However, there is also a new level of perception, a clear divine perspective that is presenting. Feel this perception change. Take time to witness it. Dismantling will amplify again. The ancients of days, paradise sons, and divine teams reinforce the guidance. This is a moment to completely align with your creator beingness and give no energetic support, judgment, worry, emphasizing negative outcomes to the external chaotic spells. Care, but don't carry. Divine neutrality allows for best choice in the moment based on love and a very broad perspective for highest outcomes. Divine neutrality is aligned action, not reaction. From SandraWalter.com and from Divine Bro Star of the Light, Michael Love. The Earth Alliance Powerful Cosmic Wave Impacts Earth. Earth Alliance Space Weather Update 418 2021. Did you feel the shock wave of light that slammed into the Earth today? Great one. The Earth Alliance reports that a few Earth hours ago, a powerful high energy frequency plasma wave originating from the galactic core penetrated Earth's magnetic shields and blasted into the surface of the planet around 4 p.m. Eastern. This was yesterday on the 18th of this recording. All Schumann resonance monitoring stations around the world recorded a sustained frequency peak of over 40 hertz at 4 p.m. Eastern, April 18, 2021, and another 40 hertz gamma beam has now impacted and is sustaining at this hour. As you may know from the Pleiadian teachings, the fifth dimension resonates between 40 to 100 hertz, and this entire realm is being steadily immersed in this high vibrational light on a frequent basis now. Vibrational levels in Earth's magnetic field have been rising since the end of Earth year 2020. The Earth Alliance reports further that or the Earth's sun is reaching powerfully to this inbound cosmic waves and a major solar storm is in progress at this hour. Solar winds are bombarding the surface at speeds over 1.5 million miles per hour right now, and all DNA in this cosmos is being recoded to a higher order as we speak. The KP index peaked in the severe zone last night and Earth's magnetic field is still pegged out at severe levels. Great One is a starseed you know and can testify about the impact of these incredible light blasts and the effect they have on the formation of your light body. High vibrational light beings are much more open and sensitive to these strong light blasts and you as a starseed allow higher levels of light than normal to flow through your layered body system. Your entire being is morphing into a lighter, more higher vibrational one as these magnetic particles of light strip right through the nucleus of our cells. Sometimes it seems it's all just a bit too much to handle in these human vessels, but we are strong in our cores, and we shall breathe it all in. Great one, you shall become as strong as steel when it is all said and done, and you shall be made perfect after the storm passes. Earth Alliance leaders are reporting that Earth star seeds are reeling this evening. From this massive energy influx and the numerous strong ascension symptom reports have been coming in from all around the world. Here are some of the most common reports we are receiving this evening. Sharp pains in the lower back, elevated blood pressure, pains in mid and upper chakras, feeling knocked out and drained, moderate blood sugar crashes, feeling disoriented, hard to focus, feeling weighted down or stuck for a moment, in slow motion, seeing flashes of light, deja vu awareness, high anxiety and restlessness, hard to sleep, nausea, purging. You know that feeling when you fly around the cosmos at hypersonic speeds in a tachyon light ship, yes? It's worse than a roller coaster and it's sure a bit queasy when you change altitudes. One star seed had commented that she felt like her atoms had been disassembled and put back together. That is more true than you may know because this is what happens when high vibration gamma light interacts with the particles of the body. Great one, before you came to earth you agreed to hold large amounts of light in your body on behalf of all of humanity until the day they could hold this light for themselves. The light rays coming into the planet right now contain packets of intelligent information and they are changing all matter they came in contact with into a higher form. 
Starseeds certainly feel the full impact of inbound cosmic light waves when they impact the human vessel. When these superfast light particles smash into the auric field, the impact abruptly jars the auric field for a moment until this light is fully integrated into the physical, mental, and etheric bodies. Intelligent cosmic light is only integrated into cellular DNA when one enters a deep delta-level sleep where the DNA is then immediately recoded to a more complex order. This causes a being to ascend higher in frequency and to experience higher levels of conscious awareness and intelligence. The higher teachings counsel that to be able to integrate these powerful lights successfully with more ease and less discomfort, one must only ingest nature, soak in sea salt baths, keep crystals around your auric field, meditate, do breath work, ground in nature, rest and sleep. The Pleiadians say the intense electromagnetic field being created around the earth right now is moving earth further and further into the fifth dimension. For those who resonate at this level, things have actually become quite magical over the last few earth months. By the way, have you noticed how much more conscious you are about things now? Everything you do now, you are doing it in a much more perfected way and the outcome is absolutely beautiful, wouldn't you say? The best is yet to come, but you already know that. You know this because you can sense it inside and see it coming. It is truly amazing and mind-boggling. It is a super energetic time to be alive on planet Earth right now, so buckle up and don't forget to breathe. Take good care of you and thank you for coming to Earth at this time. Let us know how you are doing and feel free to share any ascension symptoms you may be experiencing. Godspeed, Michael and the Pleiadians from 5DEarthProject.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica, Multidimensional DNA, the Arcturians, Expand your ability to feel your DNA. The keys to your multidimensional ascension and the collective consciousness of humanity your role in unity, ascension, and the process of enlightenment for your species and you to see your multidimensional heart as the gateway to your expansion, to imagine higher dimensional unity, joy, aligned with every being of light. We ask you to expand this concept throughout your light body, to open yourself to these concepts, paint or draw what you see, open to the expansion, dance, sing, express, allowing expansion, you are informing every cell of your physical form to expand, integrate, and connect to the higher aspects of who you are. Allow it to flow, expand, connect to the sun, and invite every ray of light into every cell to awaken, activate, expand. See yourself like a dancing ray of light with a mission of purity and expansion to be in light from KarenLithica.com and from Sparks of Divine Light Healing. We are still in a stream of solar winds. We will be within this energy stream the rest of today. The Earth's magnetic field has been very unsettled the past few days. Today the sun and Mercury shift into Taurus. Let's just say things are moving around. This shift is going to bring a lot of Pleiadian energies with it. The Pleiades are a star group within the Taurus constellation. This Taurus season is very much a portal to the Pleiades. It's bringing some new energies with it. Taurus is an amazing gateway between the earth and the stars. Taurus is ruled by Venus, the goddess of love. Venus returned home to Taurus last week as well. This will bring good fortune. It is a good time to shift the focus to matters of home and love. We also have a focus on the physical and money. Taurus is one of the most powerful signs for manifesting. It's all about what makes you feel good. Taurus rules the senses. Expect your psychic senses to be on fire right now. This energy is amazing for better connecting you with your intuition. You may be feeling extra telepathic right now. This time of year, the Pleiadian energies really start to come in very strong. The end of Taurus season always brings a powerful Pleiadian alignment. On May 15th, the Earth and Sun will be in perfect alignment with the Pleiades. We can expect some powerful galactic activations leading up to that alignment. Next week we have a Scorpio full moon and we shift into Pluto retrograde. Both will help us with our personal transformation. They will bring some powerful energies together. Next week's Scorpio full moon is also a pink moon. Pink moons are a really good sign and are a sign of rebirth and renewal. 
The next full moon will prepare us for the upcoming eclipse season from Sparks of Divine Light Healing. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh. Congratulations, brothers and sisters in Christ. Your decision to choose love and be love is being rewarded today. The spotlight is on us and our choices to evolve out of karmic heartbreak, rather than repeating that cycle again. Today the Most High is delivering judgments over the haters that would rather see you in loss and sorrow. There's even more blessings for your family and future generations. Your choices to heal yourselves from ancestral karma of heartbreak has created the opportunity for Shekinah to destroy the seed point of this karma. You have freed all of your past on loved ones, including family pets. This has been your role for incarnating thus far, which is now complete. Today brings the final ending of fighting the narcissist, you one, love one. New opportunities will be showing themselves in Taurus season 2021. The power is in your hands, beloveds. You have freedom to shine as bright as you want in front of the enemy without being attacked. Ascension is happening for you to fly now. You are the light and the flame. Nothing can stop this truth of who you really are and where you are now going. Luke 8.16 No man, when he hath lighted a candle, covereth it with a vessel, or put it under a bed, but setteth it on a candlestick, that they which enter in may see the light. Your victory brings success to the divine masculine Christ. Narcissists' behaviors are transmuting from them, giving them the strength and wisdom they need to set boundaries with karmic interference and lust. Their authoritarian, sovereign nature is restoring, giving them the discipline needed to answer the call for union with the divine feminine Christ. All praises to the Most High, in Jesus Christos' name, Amen. From Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames, and from Divine Bro Star the Light Daniel Giamario, Mercury and Venus in the Universal Underworld, and some common Taurian misconceptions. Mercury entered Taurus at 3.29 a.m. PDT on Monday, closely followed by the Sun at 1.33 p.m. Meanwhile, Venus is also now in Taurus in the universal celestial underworld on the other side of the Sun at nearly 6 degrees Taurus, closing in on Uranus in Taurus, with their conjunction on April 22nd. Also to be noted was the exact Sun conjunct Mercury at 9.50 p.m. on Sunday, happening in the very last degree of Aries. This is the precise alignment that I have been presaging when discussing the Mercury psychopomp phase over the th past weeks. This refers to when Mercury as a symbol of perception, cognition, and communication can assist the journeys into and out of the underworld as a way-shower and knower of all pathways. I would now like to apply this to a deeper look at Taurus since the Sun, Venus, Mercury, and Uranus are all there now. We shall consider several misconceptions about Taurus Taurus is one of the signs, mystery schools of life, that have been greatly misunderstood, in my view. I am not talking here about if it's your sun sign, though what I discuss here can impact that also. In so many ways, the usual sun sign descriptions that are popularly employed and most often the shadow of that sign fail to value its essence. One thing in particular I have several times noticed is that Taurus is described as stoic. Nothing could be further from the truth of its essence. Actually, it's the epitome of epicure, designed to savor and enjoy life. With a deep connection to the epicurean mystery school, it is committed to extending pleasure and minimizing pain, and seeks the highest quality of pleasure, thus differing from hedonism. The three main criteria to obtain the highest qualities of pleasures are intensity, the strength of the feeling, duration, the length of the feeling, purity and moderation, pleasure unaccompanied by pain. It is somewhat easy to see how the shadow and sun sign descriptor can easily become stubbornness and a lack of desire to change. After all, if you discover something to be pleasurable, why change it? If you can just take it deeper and make it last longer, and also to have really high standards as what is actually good, Venus and Taurus as the archetypal symbol of the feminine and women and men is an additional avenue of inquiry for another time. 
the definition of Taurus, the mystery school, in its shortest formulation within the shamanic astrology paradigm is to have the courage to explore, experience, and embrace the greatest pleasure in the body and senses for its own sake, with the greatest gratitude for our incarnation into the Garden of Eden, without the fall, that is, without shame or guilt. Remember this as we move toward the cross-quarter season of Beltane. And now today from Divine Sister of the Light, Astro Mama. Sun and Taurus, grounded and sensual vibes are here, the gift of Mother Gaia's love, the value of valuing yourself on April 19th, 20th, the sun, which represents our vitality, ego, and life force, leaves the fiery sign of Aries and enters the earthy sign of Taurus. A slowing down of the energy is indicated, and a more sensuous energy comes in to greet us. After an action-packed Aries season, we are being asked to come back down to earth and to enjoy the quieter and simpler moments. Taurus, the second zodiac sign, deals with our values, resources, self-worth, money, and practical beautification. The sun in Taurus is here to provide a softer yet more solid foundation of loving energy and earthly pleasures into our lives. No other sign can take care of business and at the same time relish in the five senses like a determined bull. This is a great energy to get back out in the nature and to relish in her gifts. A calm yet aware energy of stability and very practicality will begin to be felt and noticed. Taurus as a sign is known as the infant of the zodiac when comparing the twelve signs to human life. If you think of an infant it has basic needs of survival, during these next thirty days or so we will be tempted to focus on what or who we value and what or who makes us feel safe, secure, and satisfied. Getting back out to our gardens, balancing our checkbooks, and baking some delicious food are all in alignment with Taurus vibes. We will have to be aware not to be too stubborn or set in our ways, as this can be the lower energy of the sign. At the time of the sun entering Taurus, we will also have Venus and Uranus in the bull's den, and Mercury entering the sign on April 27th. This is quite a lot of Taurus energy, so again, staying grounded and focusing on our values will be of high priority, but at the same time, it is important to still remain flexible and malleable, which could prove to be slightly more challenging. The sun and Taurus wants you to find your sensuous and practical sides and to enjoy the bounty of Mother Nature and all her glory. It is time to be gentle with ourselves and to smell the flowers to give and receive a massage and to focus on matters connected to our finances and sense of self-worth. For this lovely season of Taurus, I have channeled a special poem for this next cycle of the sun, wishing everyone a lovely Taurus season ahead and happy birthday to our gorgeous Taurian folks. The Sun and Taurus Poem May you find the ecstasy within the slower and gentler moments of your life, May you slow down enough to witness the miracle of who you are and to relish in your beauty and magic. You are here to honor your worth and sense of profound presence. No other soul has what you have, and that is your ultimate superpower. You may find the security within instead of being driven to seek external gratification. Let your toes feel the grass. Let your nose smell the sweet fragrance of flowers. Let your heart guide you to your ultimate joy. You are safe and protected, dear souls. You are here to enjoy yourself and to feel nourished and provided for. Mother Gaia wants to wrap her arms around you and to send you back to the innocence of your existence. Venus's love wants to soothe and calm your being. You are exactly where you need to be. No rush or no force is requested now. Sweet, slow, loving energy of encouragement and serenity find you. Rest, relax, and rejoice within this human experience. You are worthy and you are loved. From astromama.com And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Adrian Elise. Gaia Daily, April 19th through 23rd. Shifting Ground. The Sun and Mercury are crossing over into Taurus today, joining Venus in her home sign. It's been an incredibly activating time and now this Earth energy is trying to help us to find the ground under our feet. But the ground has shifted. It is hard to settle when you have no idea who you are or what is going on. We are reeling from the last week of these personal planets and square to Pluto. 
These ego-cleansing transits have been bringing us face to face with all the fallacies we have been living. We are trying to find our roots through all these changes. As if on cue, Black Moon Lilith is back in the game as she moves to 20 degrees Taurus and comes in sextile with Neptune and Pisces. We can never dream our lives into a new dream if we are stuck in the shame of the past. This is a supportive transit that can help us rewrite the story of our life. Venus is happy to be home in Taurus, but it is about to get activated into a new vibration as she comes up to Uranus later this week. The new story requires a new heroine. We must rebirth the feminine out of the lower self-worth of the Piscean age. We are still feeling the helpful and expansive trine between Jupiter and Mars through this week. Take advantage of this lift. Rise above the movie and into the dream. From AdrianElise.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lua Astrology. Sun conjunct Mercury and Aries. Sun and Mercury enter Taurus. There's a blazing signal, a dazzling message, a brilliant idea. Something somewhere comes together and suddenly the light bulb goes on. Initially there is a spark of urgency, but hold that thought. Nothing needs to be rushed. Let everything unfold organically, quietly, slowly. Let ideas or information sit before taking action. Check out the roses. Consider the lily. Contemplate birds in flight, bats feeding, cattle lowing, and the quiet, soft hush of trees and leaf. Slow down. Think about practicalities. Celebrate what you have instead of grasping for more. Run your fingers over well-loved possessions to spark valuable memories. Do an inventory of your resources, including your skills and talents. Pay attention to where there is a return on your investment of time, energy, or love. Savor each precious moment in the day. Go back to basics, healthy food, a good rest, a daily walk, gratitude. Relax, be patient, revel in simplicity. All good things come to those who wait. From LeahWhitehorse.com and today from the Zolkin Times. Kin 126, White, Solar World Bridger. Solar is the name for the number 9 and its key words are intention, pulse, and realize. The ninth day of the white mirror wave spell is a day of reckoning. Often we don't really look ahead in the calendar to see what is coming, and then it arrives spectacularly and takes us by surprise. Why am I being so dramatic? Let's look at the components that make up this day. First of all, in any of the 20 wave spells that we journey through, a ninth day is always the peak, the climax of the journey. It has so much power it's hard to handle. We are seeking truth in this 13-day wave spell, and so the ninth day is when the truth will be revealed, smacking you in the gob. Today is White World Bridger, which represents death, equality, and opportunity. So the ninth day of the mare wave spell falls on a world bridger day. Here's an opportunity to cross a bridge. This is how we reveal the truth. Or is truth waiting on the other side of the bridge? This is what we must consider today. Death is a key word for world bridger. Because in order to cross over, to die and become something else, we must make a sacrifice first. This is where the troll under the bridge comes into play. Pay the troll, make a sacrifice, that's the price. What do you want to give up? Is your ego too big, preventing you from progressing on your path? Has the truth eluded you because you cannot bring yourself to admit you have been wrong? Are you clinging on to guilt, shame, or bad memories? Only you can decide what has to die. You give something up for everything you gain, so pay for your ticket and don't complain, sang Bob Dylan. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, White Solar World Bridger, Kin 126, 19 April 2021, Pulsing Opportunity, 19 4 2021 equal 10 4 5 equal 1 9 equal 10 equal 1, 19 Prince of Heaven, Fulfillment, Honor, Happiness, 4 Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, 5. Freedom, Change, Liberation, Transformation. 9. Endings, Destiny, Mission, Humanity, Grace. 10. Manifestation, Authority, Power. 1. New Beginnings, Leader, Original. Kin 126 equal 9. Destiny, Service, Compassion, Humanity, Grace. 
a cooperative bridging and networking day. Day 9 in the white mare wave spell of reflection, truth, illusion, endlessness, and magnification. Today we let go and let God, surrendering to the messages we receive from our true reflection in the mirror. Tone of creation, solar tone 9, operates in the spiritual realm. Action, realizing, power, pulse, essence, intention. The ninth day is the one that gives the last push prior to manifestation. The solar phase is where we wake up to the fact that our will affects the reality we experience. So we begin pulsing, extending our intent into realization. Today we are pulsing this energy through surrendering to the messages of spirit. We can flow with this current today, deeply connecting to all that is. Precious solar star blossoms, today we let go and let God in order to invite in and pulse forth the absolute bliss and ecstasy that beckons us from beyond the veils. Today is a great day to die to yourself, stretch your wings, and fly high over the new horizons. Today's question is, how can I totally surrender and let go to the voice of spirit, pulsing my intention out to bridge worlds, divine blessings for building the foundation of your new rainbow bridge to bliss, and la kek la kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, kin 66. Kin 126, White Solar World Bridger, the mantra, the code for today is, I pulse in order to equalize, realizing opportunity, I seal the store of death, with the solar tone of intention, I am guided by the power of spirit. And on this powerful day of spiritual activations, awakening, transformations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone that's supporting us on this great mission. We rely on our monthly pledges on Patreon and donations for our daily living expenses, so we appreciate all of you that are helping assist us to be able to continue our work in bringing these daily transmissions to the world. If you'd like to support our work and mission, you can make a monthly pledge starting at $5 a month on Patreon.com. I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Jamie Gray, of EnchantedEnergyHaven.com for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sister of Light. And also we'd like to greatly thank Divine Sister of the Light, Wendy Hai, for another donation today. With these new donations coming in, we're able to purchase online our first harmonium that will be able to start creating beautiful music, sacred mantras, sacred songs for all of you. So we look forward to bringing these to you in the near future. And also, we are working towards buying better recording equipment. We ordered a better mic, but ultimately we need a couple new mics and some other recording hardware. But these will come in time. So if you'd like to make a one-time donation, you can do so at eaglelovecondor.com, either through PayPal or GoFundMe. So thank you everyone very much for supporting us in our work. We are very grateful for you all and look forward to bringing beautiful works of art to you in the near future. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors art business on Etsy. She added several new goddess totems over the last week. You can check out her beautiful handmade works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to finish today's transmission from another powerful activation and codes from our Pleiadian brothers and sisters of the light. Pleiades 1 Messages, April 19, 2021. P1, calling Terrans for origins, recognition, attention for calls in PVSC-SDE. Divine mirroring continues. Blossoms of crystalline ideas increase. Blame keeps being dissolved. Non-linear environments continue to establish themselves. Sentinels harmonize clean caves. Portal 2020 being opened. 
appropriate separations initiated, T3, T4, T5, 89% non-regressive, attention, mystics of Heba, special projector support initiated, 89% non-regressive, mystics of Heba, special reverberation of projector, 90% non-regressive, the light celebrates, attention, the Romanian line, Support of projector for illumination started, 79% non-regressive. Neva, plus, 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 11, sustained healing environment. Arcturians present in novice environment. Deep cures occur. Indicators of the way continue on the descent. Christic light increases. Temporary. End of transmission, Pleiades 1 potentiating shamanic inheritances from disclosurenews.it. So thank you for joining us today on another powerful auspicious day of intense higher dimensional frequency activations, DNA upgrades, the 12 strand crystalline DNA of 144 being activated in every living conscious being of light. We appreciate you all for joining us on this great mission of this powerful ascension process to free all living beings, all conscious living beings of light from all timelines and dimensions and constructs of false projections as we transform and flip the switch to the new, to the real, to that which is true, to the divine, sovereign codes of new earth. And in the new codes we activate you now with the assistance of our angelic teams the Ascended Masters, the Sky Nations, and the Star Nations, and all of our Spirit Guides, Helpers, the Dragon Nations with us now. You are activated in the power of your highest co-creative potential. So rise up, angels of the light. Spread your wings and shine your light brightly into the night. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart. And always remember... I am the way, the truth, and the light. I am the resurrection and the life. I am that I am. There is no separation within the unity of my cosmic conscious mind. Now go out and make it the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.